Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at what is App Engine in ServiceNow and therefore what is App Engine Studio? Does anyone actually know? Stick around and find out. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, um, then I apologize. If you haven't, then welcome and come in. Um, if you are new, then consider subscribing to all the other YouTube based stuff. So what's this video all about? And why have I decided to do it? Well, there's a couple of points really. One is it's always been one of my frustrations and I don't get me wrong. I've been in this um, industry for quite a while. I love my job and I love the platform, right? But it's always been a frustration of mine. That there's all these kind of buzzwords that come out every now and then. And it seems like a, a lot of marketing hype, if I'm being brutally honest. There is some context behind it, right? But I wanted to do a series of videos where I could explain what these words and what these things actually mean in the real world to us techies, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is the first of a couple of series. This particular video, there's, um, if you've been on LinkedIn any time in the last month, you'll have noticed a hashtag in the ServiceNow um, ecosystem, which is build with AES. And that prompted me to say, well, does everyone know what AES actually means? Um, has anyone explained it? Um, and I kind of went on this voyage of um, discovery, but uh, enlightenment, if you, if you want to call it that. Um, so that's why we, we've come out with these videos. Um, there's going to be a series of them. So let's stop waffling. Let's just crack on. So what is ServiceNow App Engine? And how is that different to App Engine Studio? We've probably heard the, heard the terminology banded about quite a lot. So... If we just take a quick look. So App Engine sounds fancy, but we already know what it is, right? We just call it the platform, right? App Engine consists of different components in ServiceNow that allow you or can help you build things, right? So things like notifications is part of the App Engine. You've got things like REST services, is part of the app engine. You've got the ability to use or create things with HTML or CSS is part of the app engine. I've put on script, I'm not gonna read them all out, otherwise you'll turn off. But these are different components that we can segregate into different areas. Um, I'm sounding flashy now, aren't I, with segregate. But they're different components that we can group together collectively Call that App Engine. App Engine is the platform. Nothing fancier than that. So hopefully that's point number one um, or lesson number one um, that you've learnt. Um, and if that's all you came for, you can switch off. <laughs> so if we know what App Engine is, what is App Engine Studio, right? First of all, App Engine Studio goes by the name of AES. I've already said that. I'm just going to hammer that home. Um, because there's a few other um, acronyms that are, are banded about um, in ServiceNow, and that's, that's one of them. App Engine Studio is a collection of tools um, that gives you kind of the, I don't want to, I, I want to stray away from saying front end, but it's kind of the, the, the top layer of all the components. It's, it allows you to configure an application or build an application using those components in a simple, repeatable, um, and agile way. Okay, let's, oh, went too far. So what is App Engine Studio AES? It's a development platform, okay? It's a guided low code tool for developing custom apps. Okay, low code being one of the key words there. It's fast. And it's agile and we can spin things up pretty quick. Um, it has things like guides and docs to drive best practices. We can, and this is another one of the key things. Again, you would have heard citizen developers quite a lot, but we can delegate access to citizen developers um, that kind of know what the business wants. Um, they're closer to the business. So you might have um, developers or, or um, citizen developers in, let's say, the um, finance um, team within your business. So you may delegate access for them to create an application in a guided form, right? And they don't need to be techies. They don't need to be nerds that sit there creating code. Um, again, use templates. 
and we can use powerful tools to aid the build using and this is another word um, but i'm going to do it i'm going to be sucked in um but we have powerful tools to build to those four pillars of app development and those are data security experiences and automation so everything that's on app engine studio helps us to build um considering those factors we know what app engine studio is so what are the buzzwords tools that are included in that what are things included um that we can use and these are buzzwords um i said right at the start of the video that there's other words um that we may have heard and thinking how does that work for me in the real world ui builder that is part of um aes and that allows us or helps us to buy um buy we don't buy anything it helps us to build a user interface catalog builder we've all sat there and built catalog items in um, ui 16 as devs right this is uh, a kind of a front end to allow people that don't really understand the platform as well as we do to build catalog items mobile app builder again this is a, a kind of a, a low code interface to help you to, to build your mobile apps flow designer um those of us have been around quite a while we had workflow um you still see that on some changes if you go show what show workflow you can see the myriad of different steps that you've got to change workflow perhaps but flow designer um we all know is the um, a nice flashy looking low code front end of that i've done a load of video on that uh, videos on that um if you want to see them go and check them out um and i will mention they're not always low code we know they're not um but well done service now for trying and you've got table builder as well which um allows you to to build that table out without again going into the ui 16 back end that us techies love to do and building the table okay so those are the buzzword tools ui builder catalog builder mobile app builder flow designer table builder there's a lot of builders in there so i waffled on for um long enough <laughs> so i'm now going to stop talking i'll shut up in fact no i won't shut up and i won't stop talking but i will stop presenting slides and we'll go into the tool and we'll have a dig about it, right and i'm not going to build an app this isn't about building an app it's just about simply explaining what application studio is uh, what application engine is but i'm going to show you how you might start to use things like templates and build from scratch okay so let's get going okay so here we are this is my pdi which is your free instance from ServiceNow. um this is on tokyo version i haven't looked <laughs> at anything about tokyo um that's a lie actually i've looked at a couple of things but i haven't properly had a poke around if you have and there's anything cool that you think I should make a video out, drop something in the comments. I will be getting there, trust me. Um, so this is my platform. But the one thing you'll notice when you first log in, it's going to say App Engine Studio. Um, and I'd love to know how many people have actually noticed this, read it and kind of gone, oh, let's go then. Um, or just completely ignored it and gone to whatever you were going to look at anyway. So in here, if we click Let's Go, that presents us with this screen here. So it gives you a, again, it's all about guiding people through. So we can click get started. And my eyes are gonna dart around the screens here, by the way. So I'm, I'm, if I don't look at the camera, I apologize. And perhaps it's a good thing for you guys. So here we've got high um, system, that's me. Um, but if we look at here, we've got templates. We can start building based on a templates. If we look at the top here, we can see my app. So this is anything that I perhaps have created before as a developer or a citizen developer. Um, or we've got templates here. So we can search. We can use this time off template if we want to. Should we do that? Let's use that template. So we can look a bit about what that template's for. But we can use that template then to start creating our own application. And I've mentioned in one of my other videos before is our own, own application is going to be placed inside what's called a scope. So it's kind of like a container um, where you put all the things inside this container that are relevant to that app. And it's then isolated from all the other containers, i.e. scopes. Um, and, the, you know, never the two shall cross paths, which isn't strictly true, but they're contained within their own scope. So we can create an app based on the template. Okay. We can also go back here and we can create an app from scratch. So we can just start creating. So we can create test. Oh, what a rubbish name. Um, and let's just continue. 
So then we can start adding roles. What roles do we want to add? And perhaps this is to do with, uh, um, do you remember those four pillars? <laughs> Sorry. Um, perhaps this is to do with a uh, security element of those pillars. So we can do that. Should we just add that role and just keep moving? Uh, it may take a few minutes, so let's play some elevator music. Okay, so that's finished doing. So we can go to the app dashboard. Let's go and have a poke around at that. Again, if we notice, I just want to point out on the left hand side, and again, I keep mentioning these four pillars. It's me as a pillow. Sorry, but data, experience, logic, and automation. So just automation, flow design area bits, security, things like um, ACLs. So we can look at data. So this must be uh, um, adding of tables, right? Add data, add a table, or upload a spreadsheet. We can upload a spreadsheet to create tables experience we can add an experience in here the stand log catalog item record producer workspace a workspace again workspace is something that that um you know a couple of years ago wasn't really mentioned much at all but workspace is something that i'm seeing a lot more um almost in every single project that i've been involved in recently it contains some kind of workspace it's the new interface that we want for fillers to, to interact with um and it makes it a bit more cleaner, a bit nicer to play with. So let's just have a look at that. Look at that. Also, we've, we've already created a workspace. Um, like that was easy. I just clicked a few buttons. I don't know what's on there. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking at the other screen. Do we need elevator music for this one as well? We did need a little bit of elevator music. Um, yeah, service now. That's one thing. Try and speed up the PDIs, please. Yeah. <laughs> It'll make my YouTube video short, and I'm sure people would uh, appreciate that. But this is this is um, this this workspace that we've just created is now using look buzzword UI builder to allow us to build that interface. OK, and we can do that. Um, this isn't the video for that. There's many uh, videos on that and I will be doing one. Um, but this this uses UI builder. So what we can see very, very quickly. OK, you could argue I haven't built an app, but what I have done is built a scope. I've started the creation of an experience. I've already got two users in the terms of um, user admin. I can start adding data in there as well. So it's been very, very quick and agile for me. Whilst I'm not even paying attention because I'm looking at two different screens, I've managed to create an app, right? Um, you could argue that's quite dangerous that I'm not paying attention while I've been doing it. But the, the point is Application Engine Studio is an interface that allows me to quickly um, create applications considering all the best practice practice things like data and experience and da 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 and it allows us to delegate that out to people that aren't necessarily as uh, service nerdy as us techies I hope today's videos um, been found well. I hope people have found it useful. Um, if you have, drop it in the comments below. If there's any kind of buzzwords you've never understood and, and were too afraid to ask, drop them in as well. I'm going to do videos and it all. Hopefully, I'm going to get some interviews with some people and we're going to go through. We're all going to have, almost have like buzzword bingo, right? And we're going to talk about what these things actually mean. Anyway, hope you found it useful. Until the next time, really appreciate you, um, you watching and... Stay safe and happy coding or uh, low coding or building apps.